hey y'all it's not in my budget y'all it was just not in my budget okay if they just mind their own business the world will be a better place he's fancy he's fancy he, if you look at him, he's fancy. But a box. Hot gal, a hot gal, sweet like a honey. You know what's so crazy? Hey, y'all. But what's so crazy is that this damn nose ring keeps changing and make me look like I got some in my nose. I don't like it. But no, what's crazy is that I dye my hair all the time. It's like I got mad grays, but they only in the front, like right here. I have like a patch of gray. Okay, I would never. Okay, so I dye my hair, and why it's already growing back? You see that? It's like, what the blood clot? Why is my grades growing back so quick right now? That's crazy. That's crazy work. All right, it says it's going to take me 16 minutes to get to work. I want people to stop sending me stuff online that I don't talk to. So we have a DJ here in um, in um, LA that I grew up listening to, and he passed away. His name is DJ Demo. This is a post I put on on Face or on Instagram. That's the piece, DJ Demo. You were very inspiring to my daughter when she was going through her wanting to be a DJ phase. All right, let's roll out. Roll out, roll out. I like these glasses, they so pretty. They were a, um, a suggestion from a girl I watch, Gina Janine. And so I bought them and they're super cute, but they stay dirty. It's like, I have to clean these things so much. They're irritating. But, speaking of Gina Janine, I was watching her vlog about the out, or the Hurricane Burrow coming towards Houston, because she live in Houston. And that's crazy. Because, uh, I've never been through a hurricane in my life. And she didn't have no power for days. Y'all ain't checked that vlog out. Y'all can go check that vlog out. From our good sis, Gina. Alright, let's roll. Let's go. Uh, so I had a good trip when I was in Vegas. I've definitely enjoyed it. It was the most relaxing trip that I've ever been on to Vegas. But, I can say, it wasn't as hot as everybody think. It was like 115 or something like that. But, that was only on at like 3 o'clock in the day. Other than that, it was in the hundreds. And, if you've ever been to Vegas in the summer, then you already know. It was blazing. It was giving boiling when we were at the, uh, at the summer league basketball games. Why my daughter has a little friend that lives by our house, right? And to me, I feel like everybody is teaching their kids to be so money hungry at a young age. Yesterday, I saw a little girl doing makeup and she's seven. Like she has clients, she has a business and all this other stuff. She's seven. It's like, what the F, y'all? I understand a little girl wanna do makeup, I understand that that's something that she enjoys. And I get that. But why are we putting our kids to work at such a young age? Why do we have them thinking about money at such a young age? It's so crazy to me. I don't care what y'all do with y'all kids, okay? But I don't want my kid to be working through their childhood. Like, are we poor? 
Is your mama a crackhead? Like, are we not working so that you need all of this stuff? Like, it's, it's so crazy. The overconsumption that T made on that video, uh, Lovely T, she made a video about overconsumption. It's facts. Like, what? Why are we teaching our kids to do all of this? It's, it's so crazy. They have no childhood at all. They sitting there thinking about money and all this stuff they need to buy. Shit's sad. I'm sorry. Shit is sad. Like, literally. I was not teaching Ryan that. Girl, whatever you need, I got you. Because I'm your mama. You ain't got to go work and do all of this stuff. You want some lip gloss? Go buy the lip gloss. Because she my child. It's like, that's what I don't understand. Like, oh, my child is an entrepreneur. She's four. Hello. Why are we fast forwarding their lives like that? Do y'all not know that they're going to be hunting for money for the rest of their freaking lives? They're going to be out trying to make money for the rest of their lives. Why are we doing it at seven? Why are we doing it at nine? It's like, y'all need to check y'all shit. Y'all need to check your parenting. Because these kids are not Michael Jackson. Everybody complained uh, that Joe Jackson was so hard on the children, on his kids, because he wanted them. That was a different time. That was a different time. Why do your kids need to work at eight? We just need to be What's up, y'all? Oh, headed to work per usual. Headed to work per usual. It is a good 78 degrees in Los Angeles today. Love that. Even though I got my air on, so I can't even feel it. Very poo. Uh, so that's what's on the agenda today. Go to work. Go to work. Y'all heard me. I see Beyonce on my shirt. Beyonce on my shirt in the Renaissance tour gave us a clue, okay? Because she had that cowboy hat. She gave us a clue that the cowboy was coming, okay? Or that her country face was coming. We didn't even see it. We didn't even see it at all. They tried to enforce at work that they trying to tell us how to park, child. We can't just park and live our lives. not just park and live our lives we have to park how they want us to park it's like leave me alone let me get to work and mind my business i'll be trying to mind my business why y'all not minding yours it's our parking lot you're coming to our parking lot it's like whatever let me live my life <laughs> I swear, that's the problem. That's what's wrong with the world. Everybody is minding every other, everybody else's business. If they just mind their own business, the world will be a better place. Why don't anybody hear that? Why don't anybody know that? If you mind your own business, the world will be a better place. Worry about you. And that's it. Worry about yourself, like the little girl said. You want me to help, Rose? No. Thank you. No, thank you. What do you want me to do? Worry about yourself. <laughs> Worry about yourself. <laughs> like the iconic little girl said, Worry about yourself. You heard me. when you get to a four-way stop and people literally know damn well they ain't supposed to be going or that it's your turn to go and then they push their guys to go it's like are you dumb I think so I think you have a mental problem 
But yeah, I'm headed to work. Can't wait until the next time I get out of this city. I've seen a meme that said, I'm only going to work so that I can pay for my next vacation. To get the heck out of here. <laughs> the amount of people that drive that don't have, don't put on blinkers is astonishing. I mean, it is astonishing, child. Like, did nobody learn that you were supposed to put a blinker on when you have the, when you get your license? Like, that's so crazy to me. I always put a blinker on. I know y'all be hearing it. Think, 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 think. People do not put a blinker on and they just expect you to know what they're doing. What's up, y'all? I don't know where to sit this thing. But anyway, I am headed to work as usual. I need to mount this thing okay but i won't do that because i only have a few minutes before i have to go to work my sister is out here with my great niece she's so cute today is her birthday i'll probably get some footage of her we'll see if her mother allows me to hey guys Lunchtime, and I got a salad from Mondecito Farms. It's an Asian mango salad. Look at that! So good, so good. Yes. Oh my goodness! Can't wait until the next time I get out of this city. Being in the city is just like work, 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 work. All I do is work. But, need some AC up in this place. Definitely need to turn the AC on. I've been watching um, Dragon Link videos, the game that I'll be playing when I'm in Vegas, which I realized they have it several out here as well. So that is my game, okay? So now I'm about to watch um, some people win. Why is this blinker up? Why am I rolling the window? What's up, y'all? So why um, Ryan's phone broke? Sweet Pea needed a new phone. So it was just not in my budget, y'all. It was just not in my budget, okay? Way these new phones be costing, my goodness. So... I ended up giving her my old phone and getting a new phone. So I got a new phone. It's um not is new to me. Anyway, I'm trying to figure out how to uh, pair it with my car. It's like, and it's not popping up. When it goes to other devices, it says hands-free. And I don't want to connect to somebody else's car. I don't know how to pair it with my car. So, I had to get online and figure out a whole lot of stuff. I had to Google how to get my contacts, all of that stuff, which it worked or whatever. And I did, I was able to get my contacts. I was able to transfer everything. Um, I need to set up my favorites again because that didn't transfer over from the old phone. And uh, yeah, Sweepy is happy. She has my old phone. She is definitely a step up from her old phone. So she's enjoying it. And uh, yeah, I took care. I take care of my phone because I had an 11 and now I have a 12 Pro or something. 12 something. 
Either way it goes. I was not getting the 15. Y'all got me messed up, okay? With uh, paying uh, thousands of dollars for a phone. And the way I get down, I don't like uh, owing these people. Like, I don't like owing you. So, like, when you on my plan, because I have Google Fi. Google Fi Wireless. That's what I have. And we don't even have Google phones. But it's a whole nother story as to why I got this Google Fi hookup. I was watching another, I was watching an influencing couple. And they do a lot of traveling. And right as soon as they get off the plane, they can get on their phone and talk. And it's like, how do they do this? Like, when I go out, went out the country, I couldn't use my phone. So, we had to get SIM cards and all this other stuff. So, I didn't want to do that. So, I'm like, oh, uh, let's get this new plan. So, I researched it, whatever. Google Fi been working for us. That's what we use. But either way it goes. I don't like paying them. Or not paying them. I don't like uh, owing them. So if I get a brand new phone, brand new iPhone 15, you see, what the hell was that? Man just went, see me, cleared it, went, what? Anyway, so if I get a brand new phone, like I said, iPhone 15, whatever, it's like, who else is hiring? I can take my services, my <clears throat> I can take my services elsewhere because y'all don't care. I need to work at a place that actually cares about the nail technician. Actually takes our thoughts in and and our opinion versus or our opinion as well as professional opinion into consideration. Like <laughs> These people get on my nerves. These people get on my nerves. Let me say it again, like Dr. Umar. These people get on my nerves. But no, I definitely uh, have been looking up jobs in Las Vegas. And when I look up nail technician positions in Las Vegas, it is so many, okay? So many, it's so much money in that city. Okay, so much money. When it comes to the fact that they have sunny days more than we have sunny days. So, girls, what? They need pedicures, okay? They need pedicures. Because it's sunny, it's Las Vegas, and they want to be cute. So, ah, I can't wait. I can't wait to get out of here. I can't wait to get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. But yeah, I'm talking and talking and talking. Let me eat. I ended up getting a sandwich from Pete's, which is like a turkey sandwich <clears throat> they offering now. And it's pretty good, so I'm gonna just eat on this. It has some type of cheese in the inside or something or another. But I don't know about y'all. I break up everything that I get. <laughs> when I order from a place, I need to see all of the stuff. I need to see all the meats. I need to see everything you use. Because I don't trust nobody. Sorry. Okay, see, that look good. That looks good. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they put so much. I don't know why they put so much of that green, whatever that inter uh, is supposed to be like broccoli mixed or something. I don't know. I don't know why they put so much of it, but it's really good. At least it is to me. Because I know some people be like, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. And then I try it and they be like, ugh. <laughs> so. If y'all have a pizza in your area, try the new turkey hookup. New turkey, roasted turkey sandwich. It's very good to me. Now, if you in the comments and you say something like, girl, try that and that was nasty. 
To me, it's good. I don't know. But let me get this. Catch up with some shows. I just figured out how to um, connect my new phone to my car. I couldn't figure it out earlier. There was a passcode key and all of this other stuff. I had to get in the manual of the book. Or, or the damn mini manual. Because that's what I have. I had to get back in. I had to get into this mini manual. And figure out how to connect this phone. But it's connected now. So. Mm -mm. We love that. We love that for us. Yeah. What's up guys? I have definitely been a horrible vlogger. But. Um, today. Is my dear friend's wedding. So, um, I'm going, I'm headed to get my makeup done uh, by the same girl who did Ryan's makeup for um, prom. So, we're going to get in there and uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, makeup is done. Very cute. All right, so I'm ready for the wedding. And this is the hair. This big hair, which I love. That's what I wanted. And this is my dress. I'll show you a full uh, outfit check once we get to the venue. Okay, I got to drop Ryan off to get her hair done. And then I'm headed to the wedding. Chicken in the toilet looking sexy. Every time I'm turning up, my shorty better text me. What would you do to me, baby? Make it messy. I ain't even know the bitch, but she already met me. She don't know my name. All right, y'all. So I am headed to the wedding. And can I just say that I got sent a very beautiful invitation, right? Very beautiful. Very, uh, yes. Uh, it's giving however the inv the invitation didn't have no address on there I had to pull over log on to a website to get the address to the location which I should have already had it in my phone and I didn't it's like I am just I'm baffled but I found out where I was going uh, babe's already there because he's in the wedding and uh, yeah, I'm headed there right now. I'm very excited to see my friends say their I do's. And uh, I'm ready to party. Like, definitely haven't. Uh, see, we're not doing that. I'm on the 110 right now. The wedding is downtown. And there's somebody in front of me that is stupid. He knows where he wants to go. He knows where he wants to get off. Why did it take him so long to change lanes? But yeah, about to vibe out to this music, and once again, I will give a whole, uh, a whole fit check once I get to the venue, so y'all can see my outfit all put together and stuff. I'm getting off, it's telling me to get off, so that's what we go on do. It's like this wedding being downtown is so much traffic right now, heading that way. So, I'm assuming that's probably why they're getting me off the freeway. They're probably going to have me take the streets. Which I'm cool with as long as I get there in time. The wedding started at 5.30. And it's about 5.10 right now. So, I'm probably... Well, hold on. Let's see what the ETA is on my GPS. I had the makeup artist do a red lip because I have red lipstick. <clears throat> and I had and she used Ruby Woo, which is so hilarious because that's what I would that's what I have. So I could do touch-ups or whatever. Okay, so this says that I'm at 15 minutes away, so which is good. I should arrive within well within time to find parking and la la la. I mean it probably don't start at 5.30, but I'm sure everybody's probably already there getting their seats. I need to get in my seat, so I'm going to get with y'all um, in a minute. Let's see which way I'm supposed to be going. Sha, what am I going? What am I going? It's 
telling me to go straight, make a left on 15. All right, let me find this wedding. We're here, we're excited. We're ready for this wedding, hey. We have the views. That's what I'm trying to say. He's fancy. He, if you look at him, he's fancy. <laughs> Drought and famine, natural disasters. My baby has been around for me. Kingdoms have fallen, angels be calling. None of that could ever make me leave. Yeah. Every time I look into